Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online solution for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the following few minutes, you'll see some very short examples of the Synchronous Technology update training material. The complete series of training material is available to members of Solid Mastermind. This next preview is part of the fifth part modeling session and shows how geometry in a synchronous model can be manipulated with the steering wheel. Watch as we select the top face of the elongated boss and then select the primary axis. For these examples we will make sure the live rules panel is set to suspend the live rules as we'll be covering these later in this session. As the move is performed the quick bar provides the ability to identify various key points on the model. Selecting a key point will line up the origin of the steering wheel in the direction of the move with the key point. Next we'll select the hole and then the secondary axis to initiate the move. Also at this stage we'll turn off the key point locate so we don't snap to any geometry. Hitting escape during a move will cancel the operation and the model will remain unchanged. Also within the quick bar there is an option to perform an advanced face move. This option maintains the size of the face during the move. Watch as we move the top face of this drafted boss using the default method. As we move up the face gets smaller. As we move down the face gets larger. This is because the connected faces are staying at the same angle. Now watch as we set the advanced option from the quick bar. The moved face maintains its size and the connected faces adjust accordingly. If the torus is selected it will start a rotational move of the highlighted geometry. The rotation would be performed around the primary axis. Watch as we select all of the geometry around the top of this part and rotate it by selecting the torus. If the plane of the steering wheel is selected it will start an in-plane move for the selected geometry. Watch here as we select this hole and then the plane to move it around anywhere on this face. And then once again we'll select the whole of the top section of the part and move that around in a planar move. The other elements of the steering wheel are focused at controlling the position and orientation of the steering wheel. Selecting the origin will allow it to be moved onto other geometry for realignment. It will snap to faces, planes, edges, lines, vertices and key points. Placing the origin on a different face will place the origin on that face with the primary axis perpendicular to it. Placing the origin on a linear edge will align the primary axis with the edge. Placing the origin on a circular edge will align the primary axis to the center axis. Again we'll select the top section of this part by window picking the geometry and then moving the steering wheel onto the angled edge so that the primary axis aligns with it. Then onto the top face so it points vertically upwards. And then finally onto the center of this whole circle.